Layers, we have a layer menu. Here you will have the most common uh, layer operations. So you will make most of the adjustments for layers over here. Let's look here now. So new layer, it will uh, create a new layer for you. Similar to popping this one. Um, so you have a channel layer and pin layer. So the pin layer is an extension pack. So if you look at help uh, extension pack online help, and uh, this is Jens Kaffitz extension pack for Mari. It's a really good set of tools. So if you go to uh, features, function and tools, layers, pin layers, there's also a video how to use pin layers there. So some of the functionality might not be in the stock one. So if you don't see, see some of the things here, it might be that I have an extension pack loaded. Uh, adjustment layer is um, similar to what you do in Photoshop. You have like a adjustment layer there. You can like have it on top uh, so it, uh, of your paint. So it's, it's a non-paintable, but it's mostly into color corrections and stuff like that. Procedural layer, that's more like uh, you can make noises and stuff like that where you can take uh, geometry, um, procedural fractal, oil, if I make an oil, fills the, so now this is a procedural layer. Copy, paste, cut, that's, so you can copy a layer and paste it somewhere else. Remove layer, merge layers. Clone and merge, this is a, good function to um, I use it instead of caching sometimes if I use a layer based method I will show that in another chapter group layers so you can make um, a set of layers and group them so they is like one entity layer mask we will dive into that in other chapters as well adjustment stacks as well you can share layers to other uh, places um, so this is a way to use the same paint in different uh, places. Export, you can export layers, export layers flattened, import into a layer if you have already exported uh, paint that you want to import. Uh, but most of the settings here, or I guess all, you can actually do from, from this menu. So this is where I, I, I rarely touch this, uh, the, the actual layer menu. So um, I use this one over here, if I work in layers. And I don't really work in layers anymore because I work in um, node graph and a procedural way. But uh, I will show this. We will just touch the basics of layers in this chapter. Here you have this one, the paint palette is the actual um, layer that you add, paint. So you can see that it's a, um, paintable layer by the actual icon over here. It's a palette. If you would do something uh, that is a procedural, that's like a non-paintable. So when it's a palette, uh, it indicates that you can paint on it. If I now make something uh, like a procedural color. So if I hit tab, you can search for um, create. It's you get it create dialog. This is everything you can create in the layers. So there's a fairly bit amount of things. So I want uh, something narrowed down by typing color and uh, hit return. And um, this gets you the procedural layer that I was talking about. So um, the name color here is, that's just what it, like a preset name uh, of the actual layer. But you see over here, this is indicating that this is non-paintable. It's a procedural layer. You have settings for it down here, the procedural. This is, if you look at the paint, it doesn't have any settings, but the procedural one have a setting menu. And if you hit this one, the, the color and the, the white, you get the color chooser. So you can set this now to be flood, flooding all the patches with one color. You can drag uh, if you want to have the paint over the, uh, you can shift order as you can in Photoshop. So that's similar. You also have the option to use blending modes and transparency. This is a slider, the color slider or the opacity slider. 
and transfer modes or blending modes this is similar to photoshop as well the, i think it's almost all of the photoshop ones you have overlay lighten multiply that obviously needs a darker color uh, set it to normal yeah so there's the blending mode the the let's take something else you color dodge set it to normal so pass the slider this is the the, the blending mode if you have a lot of uh, names or layers you you want to search for something specific you can type uh, let's make uh, a lot of names here or layers uh, ho ho it's chris it's been christmas so the santa has been painting the, you can search by name type attribute and color tag uh, so this is useful if you uh, tag stuff that you know you want to work with later uh, like differentiate so you might want to uh, like assign a color or something uh, to your um, and um, for example you can tag everything uh, that's paint with this button over here you can add the color tags to layers uh, you might want to yeah let's let's do that first so in my say my case color tag Okay, I want to see everything that's this color, that color. So this is good if you have a, a complex layer network. I don't use it that often, but uh, I guess it can be good if you have a really complex one. Uh, you might search for names, for example. Everything that starts with ho ho, uh, because it's been uh, Christmas. Um, what else? Type. If you use the paintables or the procedurals, or if it's adjustment, I don't have any adjustments. So this is way of uh, organizing, uh, get some more overview if you have a complex uh, layer setup. Um, yeah, so um, let's take away those. And uh, I guess that's uh, kind of a uh, the basics uh, so I will touch uh, layer masks next okay, dive into let's just make it something that looks more like a something um, let's I want to make this green so it makes sense some kind of uh, value dark let's make um, text layer let's name it double click on it text um, okay basic felt tip 51 yeah so there, there there we have a layer on top of a procedural so okay so um, that's the basic of layering transfer modes uh, you can search so next I will uh, dive into uh, dissecting more in depth the different type of uh, procedural layers that I often use and we'll go from there and after that I will dive into layer masks and layer workflows and dive into so it's gonna be more like a, I think four different chapters uh, that will go through some aspects of this so we start off with blending modes, um, the basics of procedurals, the paint, um, the palette that indicates that it's a paintable. Diving into the layers menu here. And um, yeah, uh, if you uh, wanna get in touch and you know what to do, it's on my YouTube channel. Yeah, just give me feedback. If you wanna know something, I can try to cover it. Thanks.